Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Chris. Chris, can you introduce yourself? Hey, yeah, I'm Chris Wall. I'm at Chris Wall on the Twitters. Um, tech evangelist, blogger, I don't know. Happy to be here. <laughs> well, we're happy you're here too. So um, we were just talking about VMware releasing a RESTful API and how this is going to save the world. Talk about that. Save the world. I, that's a little lofty goal, but kind of, right? So VMware for a long time didn't have a great story around programmatically controlling it. You could use the managed object browser, you could do Power CLI, which I love, but RESTful APIs, I feel, are really the way forward for data center design. It's how we're going to control and read and really do the CRUD, the create, read, update, and delete data in the data center. So the fact that VMware, uh, under the tutelage of Alan Renouf, has said, let's build a RESTful API, let's make sure that it's universal and kind of feels and looks the same across all the products, is awesome because that's really just how we're going to control data center in the future. And it's great to see a product that's so pervasive, like every data center has VMware, uh, really roll up to something that's a little more kind of modern and it feels like they should have had forever. So kudos to them for putting it in the product. So what do you think? Is there a hesitation? Is it a matter of a skill set as people um, come up to speed on this? Talk to me about what the other, I, I love the, the thing on stage they said, technology is easy to change, people are hard. I've been thinking about that a lot this show. I think that's important in a transitional year. What do you think about that? How do we get people aware of this? How do we get people engaged with this? Sure, it's, it's something I've thought about a lot and it's something I've been trying to change. So I think RESTful APIs sound scary because it sounds like a developer word. And to get the teeth out of it, something I've been doing is going around to the VMware user groups and actually presenting around how to talk to RESTful APIs using PowerShell. It's a very simple, uh, simple language to learn. The syntax is very just plain English. And within one line command in about 20 minutes, I can teach someone how to talk to an API with PowerShell. I mean, you could use any language, but I think that's a great way to take something you kind of know as an admin or as an ops person and apply it to something you don't know, which is RESTful APIs. But trust me, they're not scary. They don't have teeth. They don't bite. And there's ways that you can talk to them using like git commands saying, I want to get data, that you have zero chance of causing problems. You're not going to blow up the data center. So if you start with the more like, I want to retrieve data, and use something that's a little more easy to, to, to slide into, like PowerShell, I think you'll discover that this is super easy and you'll start to love the heck out of it. It's a lot of fun. So I know you do a lot of community instruction, like you said, out at VMUGS, et cetera. What are some of the resources you can point us to for people who are making this transition? Um, you can look at recorded videos from my deck uh, from the session. So if you go to wallnetwork.com, it's W-A-H-L network.com. I've got a link under my publications that has all of my decks. Uh, they're hosted on slideshare.net. I've written a whole series on operations for automation with PowerShell, and that dives into how to set it up, get your profile going, all that kind of jazz, and I've got some videos on it too. So I think any of those are great places to start. And then, I mean, you've got Josh Atwell here at NetApp, and there's a lot of great folks like Alan Renouf and Kyle Ruddy at VMware. They've written a ton of content on how to actually do this. And trust me, it's it takes longer to read the post and probably set up PowerShell than it does to write your first line of code. It's, it's really, really easy. All right, that sounds like a challenge, so uh, hopefully people are going to accept that. Take the challenge, it's way better than the Pepsi challenge. I tr <laughs> Trust me, it tastes much better. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Sure, my pleasure. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.